Um, let's go to another drawing. I like the way that thumb is. Let's see. There was another. Am I missing a drawing? This. Let's let's take a look at this. Um, Control A. Let's rotate it up. So right now everything's kind of flat. Let's. Uh, D. Let's get this. We're going to move the thumb away from the hand. See here he's got the thumb turned away from the hand quite a bit. So that's some some of the what I'm talking about with conflicting information. I think this is more accurate. And so you can see my thumb needs to turn that way. Um, probably turn this down a little bit more away from the hand. And then you can see that transverse arch a little bit more clearly where the the hand doesn't look flat so you get that curve across the hand um, so let's go to the, the thumb and rotate that a little bit Also, he's got this. I like how this hyper extends. The thumb hyper extends there, um, where it's not bending in toward the hand, but it's kind of actually bending away. I like that. It looks more tense. So let's see what we can do. Control D. I'm, I'm not really ready to pose, but my default pose might be like this for now, uh, just so I can get a sense of. So we'll keep this the way it is. Um, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Just this part, right? All right. So you go to that profile, pivot points here, then you use rotate. Did that work? Is that right? Looks like he's got the fingers kind of hyperextended at the knuckle as well. You could do that. Maybe we'll do it just to kind of get a sense uh, before we continue with some of the anatomical features. So we're going to bring that finger up. Let's see. Rotate that up. So this finger is probably okay. We could probably deal with this. 
Sorry, I hope this isn't boring. Um, I'll probably label this video ex exploring different poses. Um, that's not bad. This looks a little bit large, but I guess it's not too bad. Bring this finger down. You have to sometimes enter, so I'll press enter so that I can kind of rotate it through things, other things. So maybe better just to go to this side. I'll rotate global. Uh, bring it down. Maybe I don't, maybe I'm going to go back to that, change it back. Um, now let's get the pinky now. Let's see. Get that almost vertical. Let's see. Is it right? And then that's not too bad. I don't think my thumb is quite what he has. Let's. If I'm looking at the fingers, how do I do that? Um, I think I could just here. Sorry, I'm just checking out everything. Um, making sure everything holds up. All right, so. All right, so this needs to rotate down. here maybe that's more like that the thumb the end of that thumb is a little bit hyper extended let's see Bit. Let's hyperextend that right down here. So it looks like that whole thing could come up a little more. It's a weird positioning. Hmm. Yeah, I think I understand. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're not working from an actual model or photos even. It's drawing. These drawings are beautiful, but, you know, um, I think they look pretty accurate, you know, for the most part. Uh, but maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe we interpret them a little bit differently. Um, so let me, 
think this needs to be rotated inward a little bit. Um, oh. All right. I see what I did. Ugh. Shift. Okay. So let's rotate that a little bit. Uh, that didn't exactly. Maybe that's okay. Um, bring that up. I think maybe. Okay, let's go down here. All right, let's uh, hyper extend that a little bit. Probably ex hyper extend that as well. Um, Okay, so 